using the router and vacuum relays on the Onefinity CNC Elite Series. When hooking everything up on the machine, you will notice there are two power inlets. There is one labeled Main AC for the power to the motors, the screen, and the router relay, as well as another inlet going to the vacuum AC input, which will power the vacuum. When plugging these into receptacles, we're going to place them on different circuits to avoid overloading the breaker. We can plug our router into the left-hand side port labeled router on the back of the power supply. It's important to note here that this is only for a router and will not work for a VFD. And after plugging in our router, we will plug our vacuum into the right-hand side relay labeled vacuum. Before using our router, we need to set the dial to the correct RPM and turn it to the on position. We can manually turn on our router using the spindle CW button on the Masso controller. To stop the spindle manually, we will press the spindle stop button. We'll make sure that our vacuum is set to the on position before turning on our relay. To power our vacuum on and off, we will use the coolant flood button. The coolant flood button will power on and off the vacuum relay. If you want your G-code to automatically turn your router and your vacuum on and off, you'll need to add these commands. Both Vectric and Carveco have these updated post-processors in their latest software releases. Before starting a carve, we will always hit the rewind button before hitting the cycle start button to start running our G-code. After pressing cycle start, we will see the coolant flood button, then the spindle clockwise button turn yellow, indicating that the vac and the router are both on. If we want to stop our file early, we can press feed hold to stop the file and stop the vacuum, and we can press spindle stop, or we can press rewind to stop the router. In addition to the cycle start and feed hold buttons, you can also use the red and green buttons next to the e-stop to start and stop your G-code. At the back of the power supply, we can see there are three fuses. There's one on the left that goes to the router, one in the middle for the main power, and one on the right for the vacuum. All three of the fuses are 10 amp slow blow fuses. The vacuum relay is only compatible with vacuums that draw 12 amps or less. Vacuums or dust collectors that draw more than 12 amps cannot be used with the relay.